Welcome to the next video about 223 and 556. This one is about the bullet weights and a little bit about the rifle twists or the rifle barrel twists. AR-15s are usually 1 to 7, 1 to 8 or 1 to 9 twist rates. What does that mean? That means the bullet that needs stabilization to hit the target and to be accurate at different distances rotates in the barrel following the twist, following the rifling. So it gets a full turn in 7 inches in the barrel that's 1 to 7 and the barrel that is let's say M4, 14 inches, it gets two full rotations. In a 16 inch barrel it gets slightly more, in a 20 inch it gets more, in 18 inch different. You can have an AR-15 with 24 inch barrel and you're gonna get a lot of twisting. You're gonna get 3 plus on a 1.7 barrel. However, the bullet weight corresponds to the usable rifle twists. 1 to 8, 1 to 7 are the most universal ones in my experience. I actually, I think I have one in the 1 to 9. That's an old DPMS. Everything else I have is 1 to 7 or 1 to 8. Both of them will work with the majority of the most common bullet weights in this case. 40, 55, 62, 69, 75 and 77 grain bullets out of different types of ammunition. I have all kinds of ammo collected over the years. I have gazillion of 223 Russian 55 grain, this guy's steel core. This is what I use for training, funny enough. Of course, in the Lancers at this time. They work. They're not the best. They're not the most accurate. Definitely. They used to be the cheapest, but mm, that is no longer the case. But your store or your story might differ. In my experience right now, 223 steel case, FMJs, cost the same as 55 grain PMCs which are breast case reloadable 556 or 223 and it doesn't make sense to buy this right now buy these or this if your range allows it 1 to 7 is a fast twist so it will work very well with the heavy bullets so if you're going for match accuracy 75 grain 77 grain will work just fine, up to 80 grain if I remember correctly. I honestly have never shot anything heavier than 77 grain, so I don't consider those something that a first time AR owner will actually use. In fact, I don't consider these very likely as your first time owner ammunition types, but they're still common and they will still work out of your 1.7 or 1.8. 1.8 will take uh, the 40 grain better than, let's say, 1.12 or 1.9. But your most common ones, 55 grains and 60 grains, are gonna work fine out of 1.7 and 1.8 barrels. Just remember, even if they say 5.56 native 55 grain, and Let's say this one says 55 grain, 5.56 five, also. They're not going to be the same zero. Part of the reason is different speed, 31.75, 31.20. Others real, don't know. I don't have a uh, way to measure. The same here, SS109, which is the European M855 equivalent, 30.20, normal. Tactical. X Stack PMC 60 grain 2920. Green chips. They're not going to fly the same. Even though the ammo generally is same or extremely similar. So take that into account. Zero your guns 
for the ammo in my approach. Zero your gun for the ammo you're planning to use for self-defense. And just know the difference in the impact or in the group location or the offset for the ammo that you will use for practice. As I said, I use cheap ammo for practice. I know it's not going to be the same zero, but I'm fine with that. So ammo that depends on the speed for its validity, its functionality, are the light bullet ammo. 62 grain is, this, is in my mind, the separating line. This is slightly heavier. This is kind of medium ground. And then you're talking about 69, 68, 75, 77 and heavier. These are longer distance. If everything is equal as far as the barrel length and twist rate. And are often more accurate because they're built as match ammunition. These are your closer dis distance self-defense possibly. Because it's very hard to justify self-defense beyond 100 yards. Because you can literally escape. Not in every situation, but again, just thinking out loud. I'm not a lawyer, so treat it as that. But some of these are good. This is one of the best stuff available. And you can see this is not an FMJ. And you can also see it's expensive as heck. But nah, so is life. Different bullets depend on different technology to achieve its ultimate goal, which is basically stopping the target or making a hole in the paper. So practice, take your two ammo types, find the ammo that your gun likes the most. Start with your self-defense ammo. Make sure it hits where you want it, how you want it, and for the money that you can afford. Zero it, record it, mark it, then buy cheaper ammunition. Again, this is still usable for self-defense, just slightly less possibly. Even though, for example, this is almost the same price as this, which is the Sabre Black. So, to each their own, practice. Practice, practice. Make sure your gun reliably runs the ammo that you chose and you're getting fun, experience. Get your family involved in it. That's all. Thank you for watching and until the next time.